because it made everything look so white and beautiful. Falling over didn't matter. For although the snow was cold, it was also soft. When you walked through it, you could see where you'd been until a tree got in the way or played other tricks on you. Is that you, Bump? whistled Birdie, flying down with her brothers and sisters. Yes, giggled Bump. Isn't the snow lovely? Can you come and play? Not just now, chirped Birdie. Christmas is coming and we have to practice our carols. At the thought of Christmas coming, Bump did a little dance. Only Cousin Jay arrived to spoil everything. Where did Birdie and the others go? He squawked. They were going to sing me a carol until you frighten them away, said Bump, crossly. I can sing better and louder than them, boasted Jay. I'm going to sing a carol for Mrs. Squirrel, but you can listen as well. Good King Wences last looked out, he shrieked, but not for long. Cousin Jay, I should have guessed, said Mrs. Squirrel from her door. Much to Bump's surprise, Mrs. Squirrel disappeared into her house before coming back with a delicious mince pie, which she gave to Jay. Once he had scoffed this, Jay screeched, Happy Christmas, and flew away. Did you like Jay's carol, Mrs. Squirrel? asked Bump. Not really, she sighed. It was just the quickest way to get rid of him. Besides carols and mince pies, what other lovely things happen at Christmas? Mrs. Squirrel was about to answer. <gasps> My Christmas cake, she shrilled. It's burning. <laughs> Bump was still dreaming about Christmas when Whizzer came shooting towards him on his little toboggan. <laughs> Look out, Bump, he squeaked. Besides singing carols and eating mince pies, what other lovely things happen at Christmas? asked Bump. Why, sending Christmas cards to all your friends, like I am, squeaked Whizzer, continuing on his way. Because Bump wanted to know even more about Christmas, he went to ask the buns. We all have to hang up our stockings, of course, said Little Bun. As well as making lots of lovely paper chains, said Big Bun. We'll make some for you when we finished ours. Thank you, said Bump, just as Macduff rushed by. When Bump caught up with him, Macduff had stopped to sniff a tree. Have you lost your bone? asked Bump. No, waffed Macduff. I'm looking for the Christmas tree. Then along came the very person to tell Bump all about Christmas. I expect you're as excited as my ducklings, quacked Auntie Doreen. They've been a real handful ever since I told them Santa Claus is on his way. Until that moment, Bump had quite forgotten about Santa coming. 
Only the naughty ducklings did not give him a chance to ask Auntie Doreen anything else. Come back at once, she quacked, waddling off to find where they were. What Bump wanted to know most of all was where Santa lived, because Bump had a very good idea. He would go and meet mm. Santa. While he was guessing which way to go, Old Bear came tramping through the snow. Do you know where Santa Claus lives, Old Bear? asked Bump. He lives a long way away at the North Pole, where it is very cold. Thank you, Old Bear, called Bump, anxious to get to the North Pole before it was dark. He came to a signpost, all covered in snow. Bump thought it said to the North Pole, only he couldn't read. As Bump didn't want to get lost, he looked around for somebody to show him the way. It was then that he saw the figure standing in the snow not far away. Excuse me, Bump called politely. Is this the right way to the North Pole? Although the stranger gave Bump a jolly smile, he didn't reply. Neither did he move. And how very, very cold he looked. Oh dear, gasped Bump. It must be poor Santa. He's got himself all frozen walking from the North Pole. There you are, whistled Birdie. What's the matter? It's poor Santa, sniffed Bump. He's got himself all frozen walking from the North Pole. No, he hasn't, twittered Birdie. That's not Santa. It's only a snowman. Before long, Bump had been told all about Santa. How he came at night when everyone was fast asleep. He brings his presents on a sledge pulled by four big reindeer that carry him through the sky, chirped Birdie. Will Santa have a present for me? asked Bump. If you've been very good, chirped Birdie. But now you must come and see the lovely surprise I have for you. Bump loved surprises and could hardly wait to see what it was. A Christmas tree, cried Bump. Macduff found it for us, squeaked Whizzer. You are clever, Macduff, sighed Bump happily. <coughs> Bump will have to put the star on the top, said Little Bun. Once the star was where it should be, they all gave a big cheer. Well done, Bump, wuffed Macduff. I hope everyone has a Christmas as nice as mine, wished Bump. So do I, chirped Birdie. Now it's time for us to sing our special Christmas song, whistled Birdie to her brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. 